the Nigeria-Cameroon border region on the coast from a 1963 map, with Bakasi Peninsula in the middle Bakasi Bakasi is a peninsula on the Gulf of Guinea. It lies between the Cross River estuary, near the city of Calabar in the west of the Bight of Biafra, and the Rio del Rey estuary on the east. It is governed by Cameroon, following the transfer of sovereignty from neighboring Nigeria as a result of a judgment by the International Court of Justice. On November 22, 2007, the Nigerian Senate rejected the transfer, since the Green Tree Agreement ceding the area to Cameroon was contrary to Section 12 of the 1999 Constitution. Regardless, the territory was completely ceded to Cameroon on August 14, 2008, exactly two years after the first part of it was transferred. The peninsula lies between latitudes 4 degrees 25 and 5 degrees 10 N and longitudes 8 degrees 20 and 9 degrees 08 E. It consists of a number of low-lying, largely mangrove-covered islands covering an area of around 665 square kilometers. The population of Bakasi is the subject of some dispute, but is generally put at between 150,000 and 300,000 people. Bakasi is situated at the extreme eastern end of the Gulf of Guinea, where the warm east-flowing Guinea current meets the cold north-flowing Benguela current. These two ocean currents interact, creating huge foamy breakers which constantly advance towards the shore, and building submarine shoals rich in fish, shrimps, and a wide variety of other marine life forms. This makes the Bakasi area a very fertile fishing ground, comparable only to Newfoundland in North America and Scandinavia in Western Europe. Most of the population make their living through fishing. The peninsula is commonly described as oil-rich, though in fact no commercially viable deposits of oil have been discovered. However, the area has aroused considerable interest from oil companies in the light of the discovery of rich reserves of high-grade crude oil in Nigeria. At least eight multinational oil companies have participated in the exploration of the peninsula and its offshore waters. In October 2012, China Petroleum and Chemical Corporation announced it had discovered new oil and gas resources in the Bakasi region. During the scramble for Africa, Queen Victoria signed a treaty of protection with the King and Chiefs of Aqua Akba, known to Europeans as Old Calabar on September 10, 1884. This enabled the British Empire to exercise control over the entire territory around Calabar, including Bakasi. The territory subsequently became de facto part of Nigeria, although the border was never permanently delineated. However, documents released by the Cameroonians, in parity with that of the British and Germans, clearly places Bakasi under Cameroonian territory as a consequence of colonial-era Anglo-German agreements. After Southern Cameroons voted in 1961 to leave Nigeria and became a part of Cameroon, Bakasi remained under Calabar administration in Nigeria until ICJ judgment of 2002. Bakasi inhabitants are mainly the Oran people, the people of Cross River State and Akwa Ibom State of Nigeria. Nigeria and Cameroon have disputed the possession of Bakasi for some years, leading to considerable tension between the two countries. In 1981 the two countries went to the brink of war over Bakasi and another area around Lake Chad, at the other end of the two countries' common border. More armed clashes broke out in the early 1990s. In response, Cameroon took the matter to the International Court of Justice on March 29, 1994. The case was extremely complex, requiring the court to review diplomatic exchanges dating back over 100 years. Nigeria relied largely on Anglo-German correspondence dating from 1885 as well as treaties between the colonial powers and the indigenous rulers in the area, particularly the 1884 Treaty of Protection. Cameroon pointed to the Anglo-German Treaty of 1913, which defined sphere of control in the region, as well as two agreements signed in the 1970s between Cameroon and Nigeria. These were the Yaoundé II Declaration of April 4, 1971 and the Moroa Declaration of June 1, 1975, which were devised to outline maritime boundaries between the two countries following their independence. The line was drawn through the Cross River estuary to the west of the peninsula, thereby implying Cameroonian ownership over Bakasi. However, Nigeria never ratified the agreement, while Cameroon regarded it as being in force. The ICJ delivered its judgment on October 10, 2002, finding that sovereignty over Bakasi did indeed rest with Cameroon. It instructed Nigeria to transfer possession of the peninsula, but did not require the inhabitants to move or to change their nationality. Cameroon was thus given a substantial Nigerian population and was required to protect their rights, infrastructure and welfare. The verdict caused consternation in Nigeria. It aroused vitriolic comments from Nigerian officials and the Nigerian media alike. 
Chief Richard Akinjid, a former Nigerian Attorney General and Minister of Justice who had been a leading member of Nigeria's legal team, described the decision as 50% international law and 50% international politics. Blatantly biased and unfair, a total disaster, and a complete fraud. The Nigerian newspaper The Guardian went further, declaring that the judgment was a rape and unforeseen potential international conspiracy against Nigerian territorial integrity and sovereignty and part of a Western ploy to foment and perpetuate trouble in Africa. The outcome of the controversy was a de facto Nigerian refusal to withdraw its troops from Bakasi and transfer sovereignty. The Nigerian government did not, however, openly reject the judgment but instead called for an agreement that would provide peace with honor, with the interest and welfare of our people. The ICJ judgment was backed up by the United Nations, whose charter potentially allowed sanctions or even the use of force to enforce the court's ruling. Secretary-General Kofi Annan stepped in as a mediator and chaired a tripartite summit with the two countries' presidents on November 15, 2002, which established a commission to facilitate the peaceful implementation of the ICJ's judgment. A further summit was held on January 31, 2004. This has made significant progress, but the process has been complicated by the opposition of Bakasi's inhabitants to being transferred to Cameroon. Flag used by Bakashian separatists Bakashian leaders threatened to seek independence if Nigeria renounced sovereignty. This secession was announced on July 9, 2006, as the Democratic Republic of Bakasi. The decision was reportedly made at a meeting on July 2, 2006 and then the Vanguard newspaper of Nigeria reported the decision to secede. The decision was reportedly made by groups of militants including Southern Cameroons under the aegis of Southern Cameroons People's Organization. Bakasi Movement for Self-Determination, and the Movement for the Emancipation of the Niger Delta. Biafra Separatist Group, Biafra Nations League, initially known as Biafra Nations Youth League led by Prince Will Chemezi Richard aka. Prince Apuka and Abita Akor Takan moved their operational base to the peninsula, after series of warning to Nigeria government over the plight of the internally displaced natives and the reported killing of remnants in the peninsula by Cameroon forces, this came amid clashes between Nigeria troops and Bakasi strike force. A militant group that focused on attacking Nigeria and Cameroon forces, BNL leaders were later apprehended in the Icon Cameroon border area. On November 9, 2016 by Nigerian troops according to the Nigerian Nation newspaper, reports linked the Biafra group to the militant groups. BNL have asked oil companies at the maritime boundary area of Bakasi Peninsula where Nigeria and Cameroon drills oil to quit. The group also threatened to attack Cameroon forces. On June 13, 2006, President Olusei Gunobasanjo of Nigeria and President Paul Bia of Cameroon resolved the dispute in talks led by UN Secretary General Kofi Annan in New York City. Obusanjo agreed to withdraw Nigerian troops within 60 days and to leave the territory completely in Cameroonian control within the next two years. Annan said, with today's agreement on the Bakasi Peninsula, a comprehensive resolution of the dispute is within our grasp. The momentum achieved must be sustained. Nigeria began to withdraw its forces. Comprising some 3,000 troops, beginning August 1, 2006, and a ceremony on 14 August marked the formal handover of the northern part of the peninsula. The remainder stayed under Nigerian civil authority for two more years. On November 22, 2007, the Nigerian Senate passed a resolution declaring that the withdrawal from the Bakasi Peninsula was illegal. The government took no action, and handed the final parts of Bakasi over to Cameroon on August 14, 2008 as planned, but a federal high court had stated. This should be delayed until all accommodations for resettled Bakasians had been settled, the government did not seem to plan to heed this court order and set the necessary mechanisms into motion to override it. Fishermen displaced from Bakasi were first settled in a landlocked area called New Bakasi, which they claimed was already inhabited and not suitable for fishermen like them but only for farmers. The displaced people were then moved to Akpabuyo and eventually established a new community of Dayspring. Despite the formal handover of Bakasi by Nigeria to Cameroon in 2006, the territory of Bakasi is still reflected as part of the 774 local governments in Nigeria as embodied in the first schedule. Part 1 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999. After the Nigerian 2015 general elections, Nigeria's 8th National Assembly still accommodates the Kalabar South slash Akpabuyo slash Bakasi Federal Constituency represented by Honorable Essien Ikpeong i.e. of the People's Democratic Party. In the 2010s and 2020s, 
Biafran separatists, most importantly Biafra Nations League, still continue a low-level militant resistance against Cameroon in regards to Bakasi. Thanks for watching.